If you're looking for an easy way to frame and finish your embroidery pieces, sometimes the best way is just to frame it in a hoop. Today, I'm gonna to show you one method for doing this. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth, and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojogi, and embroidery. Sometimes a nice way to finish embroidery is just to frame it in an embroidery hoop. And I'm gonna show you a nice way to make sure that the back looks almost as good as the front. Now, when you're framing in a hoop, you have a couple of options. Um, you can leave it in the hoop that you stitched it, or you can get another hoop specifically to frame. I prefer the second option because you can get cheap hoops at a discount store and you can use those to frame and you can have a good quality hoop that you use for doing your stitching that you can use over and over for many years. So this is a little leaf embroidery that's in a hoop. Here, here's a little Christmas one. And this is also the method I've used for this little snowflake Christmas ornament. These ornament patterns are available in my shop if you wanna check that out. And framing it in these little small hoops is a really cute way to finish them off. So to finish your embroidery in a hoop, you're gonna need only a couple of little things. First of all, you're gonna need your fabric with your embroidery on it. So I'm using this fabric to represent embroidery, even though it doesn't have any stitching on it. You're also gonna need another piece of fabric to put as backing fabric. This could be the same fabric, it could be contrasting fabric. The only thing you wanna be careful as is if you have a light color fabric that you did your stitching on, you might wanna avoid a dark color in the background because it will shadow through. So if you have a light fabric that you've stitched on, then you can use a light backing fabric. If you have a dark fabric you've stitched on, then you can feel free to use either dark or a light backing fabric. And so you need these two uh, pieces of fabric, you need the hoop that you're going to be fishing in, then you just need scissors and some tacky glue. And once you have all that, you're ready to begin. So make sure that your embroidery fabric and your backing fabric are wrong sides together. So all the back of your stitches are gonna be hiding in between. And then we'll take the hoop and separate the pieces and then place the fabric in the hoop. And then now is your chance to fix. You can make sure that everything's centered, everything's smooth and the way you want it to look. Make sure that the back is smooth and you can take this out and repeat it as many times as you want to get it in there just the way you want. Because once we go into the next step, you can't come back and adjust. So adjust everything now, make sure that that is exactly the way you want it to look. Then once we have it looking the way we want, then we're just gonna take scissors and trim off all this excess fabric. And you'll probably want to take a couple passes of this because you can see that the edges are kind of jagged. So now we can go back in and do a more careful trim. So once that's trimmed, we can see there's a tiny bit of fabric stitching up. So it's maybe a sixteenth of an inch or a millimeter. And so we don't want to trim it exactly flush. This is fine to have a little bit left. And then we're just going to go around and kind of scratch it with your fingernail to kind of um, ravel up the edges so it's not going to be totally smooth. And then we're just going to finish that with glue. So we're gonna put glue around there. And 
And then once there's glue around, we'll just rub that with our finger to smooth it out and to kind of seal it. So this is not an archival finish. This is not something that's gonna um, last for a hundred years. If you want that kind of embroidery finish, then you'll need to um, go to a custom framer and look specifically for that kind of finish, but this is gonna last for a long, long time. And once we'll let that glue dry, and then it's all done. So once the glue dries, this is securely finished, and you can hang it or display it however you want to. For more embroidery tutorials and tips, be sure to check out ebitystudio.com.